All right, you were asking about the image sampler. Um, so I'll give you a run through of what I've got um, and you can rebuild it. Um, it's not terribly difficult. Um, so basically what you have, I have a surface here. So if I preview this surface, right, um, I divide that surface. So I'm just dividing it into 10. So if I preview that, you'll see the division of the points right across that surface. Now, what you can do is you can take the parameters of those points and put them into this is the image sampler. So if I type in image sampler, right, it'll come up. And basically with the image sampler, what you can do is if you double click on it, you can go and get an image here, any image that you want. So I delete this guy. So if I double click on this one, you can see that I have gone to get this image right here. All right, so it's a gradient. And what that does, if I bring out the panel, right, it brings out a whole series of information. Basically, it goes and runs across this guy and brings out the brightness right so it's running across it bringing out the brightness and then what I do is I turn that into a Z vector right and so that goes through and puts that size into Z with 0 and 0 on the X and Y right then what I do is I multiply that result by 10 so you'll just see the Z jump up right to bigger numbers and then I move the points based on this factor right so it adds nothing to the X and Y but adds to the Z so if I come in here and preview that you'll see there's the points jumping up based on this guy right here so if I change you know that size it goes up and down right I can also change the grid it'll make it more dense or less dense um, and then I just put a NURBS curve through those guys, right? You could interpolate and it would probably be more accurate. You can see how it's kind of missing. If I did an interpolate, right, and I pulled that in right those are going to be a little bit more accurate so there's the NURBS curve there's the interpolate so you can do whichever one you want um, and then oh this doesn't need to be here so let's just delete that and then we just loft the curves right and that gets you a surface now if you wanted to make beams or something out of that you can look at the definition you know that we did during class um, and that'll show you how to make beams out of it. All right, I'll uh I'll take a picture of this definition and uh put it up.